Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome Thursday, April 9th. Hopefully everybody uh, who celebrates Passover, hopefully every guys are uh, enjoying your Passover. Everybody else doing fine? Good to see you. All right, good to see you, Cliff, Don, everybody. Good morning. Michael, everyone, beautiful. All right, guys, so um, what do we got going on today? Well, tomorrow is Good Friday, so the stock market is closed. We got Easter. Uh, it's going to be the most unusual type of holiday than uh, for all of us that celebrate if it's Passover, if it's Easter, whatever it is. But um, it looks like we're going to be locked up uh, in, in our houses. So usually I do a big Easter party at my house. I usually cook for like 50, 60 people. And I think we're just going to do a, a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Everyone just hit the tables and we'll be able to share our phones and stuff like that. I guess that's the new norm. But um yeah, I know it kind of stinks, uh, Bonnie. It's it's kind of tough, but anyway, uh, at the end at the end of the day, I could tell you this: at least we could say that nobody's rushing to catch an airplane tonight because most people, the kids, my kids would have been off from school for a week, and we actually, like anyone else, had to cancel their vacation plans. So I guess everybody's going to be trading the market. So anyway, let's talk about what's going on with the markets. Market right now is up three hundred points. Um, I guess more people than you know. Uh, uh, file for unemployment as they thought they'll be unemployed. I think it was like 6 million people. I mean, that doesn't sound like peanuts too, but you know what? Market's doing pretty well. Swing trades are doing pretty well. Uh, day trading has done very well. And most importantly, you know, I just did an Instagram uh, post on, you know, a lot of the mortgage stocks are doing well. MFA. Okay. We're going to talk about this. Uh, but before we do, I just want to remind everybody today uh, at 12 o'clock, we're going to have an open house. So I know we have a lot of people here logged in on, you know, like I said, Facebook and Twitter and, and YouTube. Uh, so if you guys want to register, I'm going to talk about the, the coronavirus, a global economic threat. And I'm going to talk about how we're actually trading some of the stocks that we traded. Just click over here on the bottom and, uh, just get yourself registered and we'll take care of that. All right. So I just want to give everyone a heads up for that, uh, event that's going to be at 12 o'clock. Now, let's talk about the M uh, MFA. Now, you guys know this. I do not like to hold overnight positions. It's part of the cardinal rule. You just don't do it. You know what I mean? But it was a cheap stock. The stock was $8. It had some really good movement. You could see here on the long-term chart, the stock was so damn strong going into the close. And you could see it right here. Right at this time, right here, the stock just finally just took off, and then from nowhere, the thing just ran to a buck ninety. Um, I got in around a buck seventy-five. I end up, I had, I had to do a, a, a I had a, a, a roundtable meeting with a bunch of my uh, partners that I do events with, and I end up selling it in the after hours. So I got out right around two dollars, like a, like right around here, about a buck ninety-five or whatever, and um, you know, I just don't. You know, it was it had this little shake right here. I wasn't too crazy about it, but I was actually trading it that late going into the day. And you know what? So where it is right now, big deal. I'll just buy it back. But this stock, if you remember from trading yesterday, trades some crazy volume. I'm talking not like, you know, thousand share lots. I mean, you could see the tier sizes. These people were trading hundreds of thousands of shares, you know, on the bid and offer. So that made a big, big difference. But anyway, that was just one of the really good moves that we had. There were also a bunch of other ones. APA, that one did amazing. And you know what? You could see it's moving up again. All these stocks, Apache, all of them are all mortgage stocks. And once again, they're all piggybacking on what traded as of the past two days. Now, the thing is this. Sometimes they get a little nasty um, as a day trade. They're, little, they're becoming a little bit more of a swing day trade, meaning like you're holding it. You're not more scalping it. You're more holding over the course of the day. But they've been pretty damn strong. And listen, look at this stock. The stock was like $30. It got destroyed. Some of them are actually filling in the gap. They're becoming gap fills. So those also are doing pretty well. I just want to bring up Oxy. That was another one. A lot of these oil stocks also are moving. Uh, Petro, uh, they're doing pretty well too. But you could see, look at those The you know going into the close. I personally didn't think the morning was as as great as in the afternoon. And, you know, we get people that log in from the West Coast to the East Coast, and it all comes down to, you know, basically uh, 
you know, the mornings are always a better, but afternoons actually worked out pretty damn well too. All right, uh, as of as of yesterday. Now there are a couple of stocks that are moving, and I'm going to put these all on the watch list. Um, like I said, you got MYMT, that's doing pretty well. That one just had a nice little pop. Let me change the chart here. And bring up a minute chart. So you can see that one's doing really well. Very inexpensive stocks, you know. And, and, and listen, you know what? It's funny, but there's some of you here that are watching and, you know, I, I get emails from you and everything else. And some people always ask me, I'm like, you know, you guys trade a lot of inexpensive stocks. I'm like, yeah, why not? There's something wrong with it. Are you prejudiced? You're racist? What's wrong with the cheap stock? I'd rather trade this stock than trade Apple. Okay, I was talking to someone the other day and I'm just going to bring this up. I just want to just give you a little tip and why we do what we do. But I had a, someone the other day and they're like, you know, Fausto, really not my, you know, I've been trading the Qs. I really know what's going on. I'm like, you're really? Okay, great. What are you making? Over six figures? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I haven't been. You know, I'll be happy if I just make, you know, 10, 20,000 a year. I'm like, first of all, I would never, ever trade the Qs. And you're trading it? You must be a better trader than me. I mean, only the best traders in the world could trade and know what's going on. Not that you can't make money with it, but less risk, more reward. And they're like, yeah, I guess you make sense. I'm like, listen, if you're in the real estate business and you're going to make a $50,000 commission, you know, would you type your money in a quarter million dollar house or a $5 million house? You know, I know the $5 million house looks nice, but listen, this is your money putting on the line. If that $5 million house gets burnt down, guess what? You're screwed. You know what I mean? So it's all relative. So it's all about risk to reward. Anyway, just want to do that because I, this one person, I really I felt bad for them. And, you know, unfortunately, you can't convince everyone. But when you have somebody trading like that, and, you know, there's, there's some of you out there that look at it, and they're like, ah, eh, they trade, you know, inexpensive stuff. I don't care how, what the hell the price of the stock is. Because there's actually one other stock, you know, that's moving pretty well. That's not we always trade inexpensive stocks. This one also is moving up pretty great, B-I-L-I. And you know what? I'm going to bring up the watch. I'm going to bring up the, the book viewer here. And look what's going on. These guys are getting taken out. Big block orders. Boom, boom. And you had this big order right here that just slowed it down. But, and you know, we, we, we talk about that. And, you know, we'll talk about that when we're in, uh, we're in the trading room and in class. But listen, nice little stock. That made my watch list. Awesome stock right there. Uh, we got the BILI. So what else am I missing? Okay, we got the MFA. We know about that one, okay? Uh, APA, we know about that one. Uh, a couple other ones that made the watch list. Uh, what else we got here? We got AXN. That's moving up pretty nicely too. Same thing. Another capital stock. Very inexpensive, but not as nice as the other one. Got decent volume, up 33%. Rig, one we called out early this morning. It's kind of flat right now. I don't know what's up with that, but... It, you know, it is up about 25%, 1.5 million shares trade. I mean, it's a hell of a lot of shares right there. Market's not even open. Uh, what else we got here? NLS, did I say that one? No, I didn't say that one. Up 44%, another nice little mover right there. But she is making a little bit lower lows in the pre-market from 8.30 to now. So I don't know if that's more of a pennant or if it's just making lower lows. But that one I want to keep an eye on going to the close, I mean to the open. Chief, I mean chefs right there. CHEF, the Chef's Warehouse, that one's also gapped up pretty nice. Not, not as nice as many shares as the other one, but it's up 11%. So there are a lot of stocks out there. Uh, one, one last one I want to throw in there. And by the way, this is just pre-market stuff. This is not when the market opens up. We always find new ones when it opens up. But HLX also is moving up pretty nicely too. Another inexpensive stock. $9 stock got destroyed. It seems like every single stock. If you, put, if you had an indicator... Of every stock and just, you know, what the market did, every one of them look exactly the same. It's amazing. Uh, M-I-T-T, -T, yeah, I missed that one too. Yeah, that one's also very good. Thanks for sharing that, Ken. That was another one. I mean, there's just so many of them out there. Another mortgage stock, M-I-T-T, -T, up 11%, 1.6 million shares. This one, it, it, this one's pretty nice. And, and listen, I'm just telling you right now, this is not going to last forever, okay? Remember, first it was the corona stocks with the pharmaceuticals. Then it was the brand name stocks because of the market, you know, finding the bottom. Now it's now we have the bailout. You know, in my, in my roundtable, I was talking to some people and they says, you know, 
the Corona thing is pretty much dead. You know, not a lot of people looking at Corona stock, you know, like maybe that shouldn't talk about that much because we're not seeing that. And I get it. You know, listen, I've been talking about it for almost two months now, three months now. Uh, you remember when I was down at the NASDAQ center, but you know what? Unfortunately, it's going to be here for the next, I would say 12 to eight months, 18 months. We're going to be dealing with this for a long time. Believe me, we are not out of the woods, but what you know? What better I could talk about? Which is the next new wave? It's obviously the mortgage stocks. They're all moving. Listen, if you've been if you've been following CTU or been part of our family for a long time, we trade in you know in industries. If it was remember the shipping industry with all the shipping stocks. Remember all the um, the pot stocks. Okay, remember all you know the, the Corona stocks. I mean, I, you guys probably you can go down the list over and over and over again. It's all solar stocks. Remember the solar stocks? So, you know, those also took off at one point. I mean, it just, you just got to know where to look. And that's the beauty about being here. So anyway, um, that's our watch list of pre-market right now. Now, listen, guys, it is a day before the market closes. So, you know, the market looks pretty good. I, I, I honestly think it's going to be a very volatile day because nobody likes to hold stocks going to a long weekend. And, you know, if this curve is actually really happening here with, with the coronavirus, I mean, you could see a big rally in the market going into the, into the open. So I hope a lot of you guys, you know, got some bottoms on it. And is it too late? I mean, listen, come on. I mean, some of these stocks are down, still down 50, 60 percent, 70 percent from their highs. Now, are, are we going to expect them to go back to those prices? It would be great if they did. But. I, you know, listen, they're still worth a lot of money, these companies, you know. I'll never forget the financial district industry when the market crashed on that. And I traded uh, Bass Stearns, and it was like $90. The thing dropped to $4. And then some guy on TV said, do you know that for the, if the book value on that stock is worth more than what the stock value? They have a piece of property on, uh, on um, a building out in was it uh, Park Avenue in Manhattan? It's worth more money than what the stock value is, and the stock ran to like thirteen dollars, you know, that day. So everything is all relative. So anyway, um, we got our little watch list right here. It's not, you know, we know what we know what to look for. Just let everyone, give everyone ever, everyone a heads up. There's always new stocks that are going to run up. So you know, we'll start commentating when the market opens up in about fifteen minutes. And if you have not done it so far already, just to give everybody a heads up. Today, we're going to, you know, at 12 o'clock, we have open house. So if you can go out there and share it, tweet it, let your friends know about it. And uh, we're going to be starting at 12 o'clock. So, you know, obviously, we don't trade in the middle of the day. So why not come and join us uh, for the free live uh, trading, uh, day trading class with Fausto, all right? And we'll talk about it. And, and like I said, I'll be talking about uh, the level three and stuff. Oh, and by the way, uh, did you guys get my alerts? Um, I've done a couple of sample videos for everybody here regarding about uh, on YouTube about, you know, how to use a uh, total view. So if you haven't watched those videos, just do me a favor, watch them. They're good. They're only about two, three minutes. I did some really short videos. I'm going to do a lot more, but uh, go out there, like them, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and obviously always subscribe to us because we'll give you more alerts. I'm going to be doing a bunch of those. All right. Good, good, good. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And if I don't see you going into this week, uh, this afternoon, I uh, wish all of you guys a happy Friday and uh, happy Easter. And then for all Jewish friends out there, wish you a happy Passover. And just be safe, guys. Don't listen. Don't go anywhere. You got a great excuse to be here. Just trade. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.